Hey, what is up guys? Teacher Keith here. This is my 14th installment in the ongoing series of possible scams. We continue to talk about the online dating scam. Okay, so if you get a very long uh, message, um, that could be a sign that it is a form letter that they are copying and pasting uh, to every... Um, whether the person may be beautiful or whether they just look vulnerable, um, they may send that form letter to everybody on the dating website. Uh, so paste and text, paste the text into a search engine to see whether the same words show up on websites devoted to exposing romance scams. Okay, do cut off contact immediately if you begin to suspect your partner is a swindler. Uh, notify the dating site or the maker of the dating app on which you met the scammer. Uh, be wary, even if you're the one who made the first contact. Scammers flood dating websites with fake profiles, uh, and they may be waiting for you, uh, realizing that, uh, like catching a fish, they've posted a beautiful picture, handsome or beautiful, uh, person of the opposite sex. Limit the amount of personal information you provide in a dating profile or to someone you've chatted with only online. Scammers can exploit details like your last name or where you work uh, to manipulate you or, or commit identity theft. Okay, never share intimate photos uh, to an online dating acquaintance. They could end up, <laughs> end up being used for what is called sextortion. All right. Don't send uh, cash. Don't send gift cards. Don't send cryptocurrency or put money on a reloadable debit card for someone you've only interacted with online. Okay. Never going to get that one back. Okay. So, um, all right. Let's go ahead and call it a lesson for today. Uh, that was my 14th installment, and uh, do me a favor, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.